when confused about anything or any situation or anyone in your life, just ask. Ask your golden compass within. Compass. What is the most self-loving and self-compassionate? It's in the word. It's word magic. Learn to read the words and the meaning, the true meaning behind it will give you the answers. All the answers are right there within yourself. You never have to ask anyone. This is what I am teaching you here, how to listen to self. That is, the, that is the only teaching. If somebody is not teaching you that, is teaching you dogma. And dogma will not help you leading your own life. So what is the most self-loving and self-compassionate, because that is my inner compass, right? To do or be in this now moment. Why in the now moment? Because in the now moment is your power. Your power is always in the now. There is no future. You know how many times I have betrayed myself in the past because of the imaginary future that one day some, somebody else will appreciate me. So in the moment, in that now, I betrayed and I deceived myself. It, it's a self-deception. It's a habit that we all learn to overcome and really truly using and utilizing your inner power within the empowerment that you are, the force that you are. So your the focal point is within you. It is never out there. And those who learn how to really self-represent themselves, how to self-partner with themselves, really owning their power. They don't ever have to fight for their power because they just own it. And so you can be calm in every minute because whatever comes and whatever that you meet, whatever you encounter is not going to be a problem for you, but an opportunity to step into your inner power and inner empowerment and use it, utilize it, and, and be there for you. Not expecting other people to be there for you, but to freaking take the initiative and be there for yourself. No one is here to be here for you. You have to be here for you. They are there and they are here for themselves. And you have to learn how to be here for yourselves. And not blaming, resenting, or, or do anything. You will save yourself a lot of heartache and <laughs> headache and, and all that other stuff. So yourself is the, the reference point. Sense your body. But if you take this question and you really really be present in your own presence every moment so basically you're leading your life with self-compassion which is your compass which is your inner golden compass self-love self-nurturing self-appreciating uh, and not depreciating you know for the sake of another and so everything that's truly happening and it's worth, really, it's significant, is insignificant. So out there, everything is insignificant, really, because the significance is within. It's, you are significant within. It's in the word. This is word magic. In 
significant. You feel insignificant in the world? Well, start looking within. Start really knowing yourself better. Go deeper. Be the deep soul diver. You know? So dive into yourself and dive into the true meaning of the words. And when you feel invisible in the world, you feel invisible because, hey, you know, it says, come on. You know, start looking within. Go inward and be visible to yourself within. You have to see yourself first. You have to see yourself first. Nobody else will see you until you encounter and meet yourself, your inner self, and really truly know who you are. And you really start appreciating your own abilities, your own gifts, your own brilliance. You have to recognize yourself first before the world can recognize you. I mean, if this is what you want. And so you have to see yourself. So this is like an amazing thing. Start looking into the meaning of the world and the world and the world is just a noisy place and start really listening within go inward and you know traditional spirituality and all that other stuff you know everybody and everything that is very popular in nowadays you know all looking into the mind and it's not about the mind anymore it's about becoming multidimensional and you are multidimensional and you will be really leading yourself with intuition. It's within yourself. You don't need to go to a library for intuition. You don't need to read other people's angles and viewpoints and whatever because it's theirs. It's, it's serving them on their level of consciousness for whatever they came here to do in this lifetime, to learn it or do it or whatever or be it. But it's not your truth. That's when the whole thing comes in, you know, false and, and true prophets. I am a true prophet for myself and for those who are in the vicinity of my consciousness. Because they will resonate with that level of truth. But the one who is really farther, further away from my level of consciousness will never resonate with my truth. Because... She or he is not ready for that. They have to experience something else. So this was that they never really understood that, the, you know, whatever their truth is, is my lie. Their truth is my lie. And my truth is their lies, right? It's, it's not for them. So this is what we never understood when they were taught by dogma. And there is not just one, one truth fits all. No. There is no one truth fits all. It does not exist. And this is what nobody understood. Nobody understood whatever, Buddha or Jesus and all that stuff. And they probably never said those things, but they did not understand. Do you think that everybody will understand what I'm saying? I speak every day to people and they have absolutely no understanding of the simplest thing. You know, it's just because it's not their thing. If it's not interesting to them, it's not in their interest. So if there is no let's teach and have little pet projects, you know, teaching other people on one on one. You know, you go on the street and you what you can share if you can just say this is my truth. You don't have to agree with my truth. I see that is your truth. And you can't even word it because you can right away delete it because if it's not your truth, what they said, don't even take it in as a program crap, you know, don't even whatever. And you can state it and say, yeah, everybody has their own truth, basically, on their level of consciousness. And every level of consciousness contains a certain belief structure and truth in that, you know, in that sense. So thank you for listening and have fun. I hope it was really useful. Bye.